In this video, we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of living in Jensen, Michigan. And we're getting after it right now. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your good buddy, Jimmy Cagle, right here in the Grand Rapids Metro. If this is your first time on my channel, I do so many videos on what it's like to work and live and uh, relocate to here at the Grand Rapids Metro area, and I absolutely love it. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and tap that bell and hit that subscribe button so you're notified each and every time I drop a new video. And honestly, I've helped so many people that have uh, moved or relocated to the Grand Rapids metro area, and I absolutely love it. Also, if you're if you're living in the West Michigan Grand Rapids metro area, and you wanna uh, buy or sell a house, get a hold of me, I'm here to help out any way I can. So we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of living in Genesis, Michigan. You know, I like to start off with the cons just to get them out of the way, because I'm more of a pro kind of guy, and there's not very many cons. So, but it's you'll see a little bit of a theme here that once you're outside of Grand Rapids, um, Con number one is there's very low diversity in the Granville area. It's just the way it is. I think it's about 97% white, which is pretty white. Um, but I do think it's moving around the right direction. It's going the other way, and that's always a good thing. So um, they need to work on that. They're moving on that. But uh, that's definitely a con that you don't have a lot of diversity. You know, the city is decent size, kind of like 18,000 people, but it's still more of a small town feel. You're not, you don't have every restaurant you can think of, every chain restaurant or every really nice restaurant, a lot of bars and um, things like that. So, you know, it's got that more small town feel. So you're not gonna get the, you know, the big time nightlife bustling uh, of a big city. Uh, so some people call that a con. Um, the other con is in Jenison, you've got uh, about as hot as market as we've got here in West Michigan. All of West Michigan, all of the country rather, is really hot but especially here in Jenison, I don't really know why. I mean, it's a great area, obviously. I'd love to live there and move there, uh, but it just seems extra hot. So if you have a house that comes up for sale, you're literally three to four days, you've got multiple offers and tons of people that want to get there. So if you're trying to move there, it can be a little difficult. You just got to be ready to, you know, put in several offers. It's going to take some time and want to be very aggressive, but I've got a great plan for getting offers accepted during this difficult time. So we can make it work. All right, now on to the pros, which is what I like. Am I sweating? Uh, I had, if you notice, we started outside. I had to move inside because it's May, what, 5th here? Normally it's really warm, 75 and sunny, and it's like 50 degrees, so, and it was super windy, so I'm sorry I had to come inside. So pro number one, yeah, the city is growing, but it still has that small town feel. This is pro number one. And it's that kind of area where you know, everybody knows each other, which is great. You know, the neighbors will help each other out. They'll look out for you. I think if someone came to do some harm to your house, you'd have a lot of neighbors that would uh, take care of you and help you out on it. And just to give a quick story, my son's a swimmer and was swimming at Jenison. And I've, I haven't had this happen since college, I think, but like a knucklehead, uh, we went to the swim meet and on the way back, I ran out of gas. And I was not on the side of the road for, I don't think, I don't even think it was five minutes. And a guy pulled up, he's like, hey man, you need some help? I'm like, dude, I ran out of gas. He's like, hey, no problem. Drove me up to the gas station, let me get gas, drove me back to fill my tank up, made sure I was okay. So I think that says a lot about Jenison right there. So, you know, that gives you a good idea. Uh, pro number two, the real estate market, like I said, super hot. On average, the homes have been increasing 9% a year for the last 10 years, 9%. So even though it's super hot, you've already made a lot of money. Even if you buy a house right now, I see nothing slowing down. So you still can make really good money. I mean, 9% a year on your return of your, of your home is great. And I've talked about this uh, other uh, videos 
that, and I'll get to it in a second about the schools. When you have good schools, that helps your, your home increase in value, and they've definitely got that there. Um, they've definitely got that in Jenison. Jenison schools, they have a great school system. They've got 10 schools, uh, nine public, uh, one uh, private, and they're all great schools. The high school's awesome. Like I said, I've, I've been there for the swim meets. The, swim, the swimming area is unbelievable. They have a huge theater section of the school. That's new for all the people in, uh, that do theatrics and all that good stuff. So uh, just a great school. They're ranked really well, really high, which is awesome and great for the kids. So pro number four. So like I said, it's a smaller town. It's not huge, not bustling, but the cool thing is like a lot of uh, Grand Rapids Metro, you can get right in the highway Take 96 and you're in Grand Rapids in about 10 to 12 minutes. And it's super quick. Or you can take the back roads and get there in maybe 15 tops. So that's pretty cool. So, you know, you're in a quick drive and you're right to every restaurant, bar, and, you know, cool downtown uh, city life that you'd want. So it's really nice. And, and, and what's cool too, though, is Jensen feels like it's way farther out of the country than what it really is because it's its kind of own little community, but you're not that far at all from the big city. As you can see from the map, Jenison is about 11 minutes from downtown Grand Rapids, so not too far at all. And it's right there at 96 West. You can also take back roads and maybe it takes you 15 minutes, so you're not far away at all. Is all the different types of housing. They've got single family houses, they've got condos, condos that are attached, unattached, um, you know, bigger lots. I would say most of the neighborhoods are in that quarter, quarter, uh, quarter acre lot uh, type neighborhoods. And then you've got a lot of you know, the half acre, some of the bigger ones, but most of the neighborhoods are the quarter acre lots um, or a little bit less and you've got tons of neighborhoods. So you've got houses in there that have been that were built, you know, 80 to 100 years ago, and they're still nice. They have, and you've got you know a bunch of new neighborhoods that are coming in with nice houses that are in that you know three to 450 range. So you've got a really good mix of the different types of houses. Again, sorry I'm sweating. It's not like I'm nervous. It's just I came in from outside when it was freezing, and now I'm hot inside, and I gotta get this video out. <laughs> so, well, like I've said before, uh, my name is Jim Cagle. I'm a, a local real estate agent here in the Grand Rapids area. I specialize in people moving here. I would love to take care of you. If you have any questions about what it's like to live here, uh, give me a call. Right there's my number. Right there's my email. I'll get a hold of you. You get a hold of me anyway, and I will I'll make sure I get with you and help you out any way I can. Also, if you're in the West Michigan area and you want to sell your house, I can tell you exactly what it's worth, and we can get that bad boy sold. So give me a call. All right. Thanks. Make it a great day.